What's up, ladies and gents? It's your boy, Lou Streets, and I'm back with another segment of LS Vision. I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Now, in this particular video, I'm going to share some amazing tips on how to grow your channel as a small content creator, as well as talk about some common mistakes that you want to avoid so you don't leave a terrible first impression before you even get your channel off the ground. Now, before we get started, if you're looking forward to quality gaming content uploaded consistently, as well as some tutorials to try to improve your own presentation, look no further, hit that subscribe button, and let's get into to the video now the reason i enjoy making these types of videos is because i'm still a small content creator myself um i'm closing in on 2,000 subscribers but the ls vision channel is still fairly young it's roughly around a year and a half a year to eight months somewhere in that ballpark and so as i've made more and more videos people are starting to come to me and ask you yo lou how do i get my channel off the ground what do i do they probably haven't found the information because they haven't researched it or either they just haven't discovered why, why they have been looking for it. So I've done a lot of this research in the past as far as how do you brand a channel? Well, first you have to find your niche. So my number one niche is presentation. I'm very anal about presentation. Anything that you see um, branding wise, intro wise, outro wise, logo wise, I made all of that myself because I care about how things look and I try to put everything under the LSV umbrella so it all looks consistent and recognizable. So that's my first niche. The second niche is finding what you want your channel to be about. Now, technically, this is mostly a fighting game channel. I'll put other games on here because I don't mind sharing passion projects. I'll put a lot of hockey up and that doesn't get a lot of views, but I'll still put up things that interest me because that's just who I am personally. But the second thing is having your niche. So my niche is presentation and fighting games. That's what this channel consists upon. Now, the problem with people asking me how do they brand their content or how do they grow it, they haven't found their identity yet as far as what they want to do. And like I said, it could be because of the fact they haven't researched the information to know that this is important, or maybe they just haven't discovered it all together while actually doing some research. So that's why I'm here to provide tips on how to kind of give your channel an identity and then how to grow and promote that. Now, the problem with when I say promote your content is a lot of my gamer friends think that that means get eyes on your content. And that's not what I mean at all. That's not what I mean at all is by chasing views. Now, I need you to listen objectively and closely and not be offended if this if this shoe fits you because all I'm doing is giving information to try to help your channel grow the same way that this information has helped my channel grow from when I researched it. Now, what I'm seeing is a lot of people are tagging people in Facebook posts with like 100 something people, me included, probably because they value my opinion of their content. But let me tell you something right now. You have to stop this practice. You totally have to stop this practice right now. The reason for this is because if you want to engage in a community, the point of the community, keyword community, is to make people feel like that they are a part of something that you are building that they want to be engaged in. Well, if you're tagging 100 people in a post, true, some of them may be gamer friends, but the reality is all you're doing is making people feel like a number on a view count or a number on a sub count. And while some of those people may show you love, the majority aren't because the notification doesn't apply to them. So the way that you actually promote or like try to find growth is make yourself available. What I mean is find a hub where you can put all of your content in a centralized location for availability. That way when people are looking for you, they can actually find you. Now here are some of the tools you can use to do that. So obviously anybody who's looking to make content probably has a cell phone and cell phones are a great way to use social media which is an incredible tool to try to build your brand now i'm not going to focus on which app is better than the next i'm just going to talk about the ones that i use and how i utilize them so let's start with instagram so when it comes to instagram first of all you want to have your identifiers up top so if you take a look at the top of my page you see lou streets gaming video creator you can make a business account um from your personal account which i've done recently i'm still optimizing it now however if you look at that first link right there it's the ls vision gaming channel so if you were to click it it's going to go directly to my youtube channel so with one click of that link now you're on my youtube now you got a chance to subscribe you can scroll through and check out some videos but we're going to visit youtube later on let's go back to instagram so in taking a look at it at the top you see i have my highlight section now you want to use this in multiple ways to show people what i mean by a central hub of availability so if you were to click my highlights as you can see, there's no doubt what I do. I make gaming videos, I have gaming clips right here. If you were to just click through and click through and click through, you're gonna find more and more and more. But then on top of that, I still have some of my logo identification so you can get used to seeing that, get that burned into your brain. You keep going forward, we have multiple game clips. If we were to come out of that highlight, look at this section right here where I have different highlights. You know, you go to my design tab 
and also I make my own thumbnails and I can make other uh, clips and arts and things like that for other people so this is ways that I can build my branding outside of just gaming because if you were to come to my page you see oh he makes thumbnails he makes videos and things like that he makes clips he makes uh, logos people would pay me for this stuff this is some of the different work I've done in the past this is a business card for a car dealership I could I never even imagined that when I first started making content that I would make business cards for car dealerships I was just trying to make cool thumbnails for my videos you come out of that I'll show people me doing some time-lapse speed edits let's scroll on through right quick um, and look at this right quick just look at this for a half a second this is me showing how I made one of my thumbnails so this is different ways to promote your brand because now my value is being outside of just a content creator it's also showing different skills that I have either you can gain these same skills or you can promote the fact that you have them and maybe other people who don't take the time to learn them they'll come pay you for having these now let's go down to the actual post now a cool thing that I like to do with my posts is first of all make it interesting don't ever put just a black box for your videos as you can see when you're looking at my page it looks pretty interesting if I was just to scroll through right you see a video of, uh, of me up here to the top right but in all these other videos you see what looks like pictures but they're not what I like to do is I'll take my thumbnail let's click this post right here I'll take my thumbnail and I'll put it in a video clip so it makes the aesthetic of the Instagram look cool but it's still a video and I feel like videos are much more engaging this video didn't do as well as others but as you see this did this video did pretty well um, another thing that you can do is when you put your videos up hide some hashtags in the bottom so looking at this it looks pretty normal right but if you were to click it you come down here you see how I got these hashtags so that puts me that gives me a chance to be in that category as far as those algorithms and have a video pop off so this is something that you want to do so you want to put this up there with the hashtags that way that people can potentially get a chance to discover you but then you make really cool stills like the ones that I have here so that way when they see it it looks interesting and they want to click it you know Mel Melina did really well in her most recent video so as you see I got a Melina still right here you know what I'm saying but then you go to another video I have that same Melina still but then it goes right into the video so this is just different ways to engage and have people's attention also don't neglect Instagram TV you want to use that as well as you see I have different videos over here and with these stills that you see with Fujin right here with Goku and stuff like that these are stills I selected so it still makes it interesting to click on if you look at this one to the right I put whole squad down for Apex Legends but I got the gun scope up in my still so it just makes people want to click on these things so never never underestimate the power of your social media and Instagram but you got to optimize it to your fullest extent when scrolling through just look at all this cool stuff I have on here this just looks awesome in general so even if somebody does know who I am if they scroll through they can kind of see the consistency of what I do and it gives them a higher chance to click it and follow let's move to a different social media tool Facebook okay so now let's talk about Facebook now remember as I said this isn't about preference I'm just sh simply showing you what I use so I use Facebook gaming right so if you take a look at my home page as you see once again when I talk about a centralized hub where you can be discovered you see I have all of my content right here we have um different playlists and stuff right here available let's go to the video section so as you can see we have different playlists available up top we have my latest videos we have a playlist with NHL 21 um, some LS vision YouTube snippets which is, which is just snippets of the same stuff that I have on my YouTube channel we got some ghost of Tsushima whenever I live stream that we got some LSV highlights when I'm not recording at all how to create content tutorials um, we have some LSV live streams right here in the middle. We got some Dragon Ball Fighters, some Mortal Kombat, etc., and all that, right? So let's go take a look at the uh, at, a, at a video just to show you a cool tip that uh, you guys can use that Facebook has. Okay, so this is a replay of a live stream of mine, right? Now it's always going to be shown in 1080 when I'm actually doing it, but for some reason when uh, live stream replays happen on Facebook Gaming, they compress down, which is irrelevant because they still look, still look good to other people, but for some reason with full screen it'll just look this way, so bear with me. But what I want you to take a look at is, look at where my mouse is at right here. You see that number? 6,941 people reached. This is during a live stream. We also have 324 engagements. So that in itself is just a lot of different eyes that have a potential chance to be on my live stream. But I'm going to show you something even cooler, which is why I love Facebook when it comes to growth. So if we were to click right here, you see we have 44 engagements as far as like likes, reactions, etc. Right. So I'm going to click this. Take a look at what I'm going to show you. 
It says invite to like LS Vision Gaming. Whenever you have any type of like or reaction from your actual gaming page, they do this cool thing where you can then go back after the fact and invite people to like your page. So if we were to scroll down, you see I got invited, invited. So these two people didn't come, but you see Tony Mayberry right here, he liked it. Um, these are a few more invites, but Jerry McDonald, Orlando Post, he liked it. Alex Mercer, he liked the page. So the thing is, at the very least, these people are now familiar with me. So if I was to ever stream again in the future, they're familiar with my name and they have a chance to know who I am. And on top of that, if they engage at all, I can send a like, which makes them become a follower. So now they get alerted when my next stream is coming. This is super cool. So with those 44 reactions, that's a potential 44 new followers off this one stream alone. This is a large way to get growth because you're not being intrusive because these people already have seen you, they're familiar with you. If you take a look to the right over here where the chat is, as you can see, the chat is jumping. These are all people that I've spoken to and they've spoken to me in response. So now at this point, they're familiar with me and they have a chance to become a follower. And at the same time, I didn't do anything to intrude on their time or their space. So they're making the choice to come engage with me because I've built a community where they feel like that they can talk and I can chat back to them. And now they're in control of the situation while at the same time, my growth and awareness is still being out there. Even right now, let's go back to the home page of the LS Vision Gaming channel. So now we back on the home screen and this is another cool thing I can show you. If you go to community, take a look. I have 1,040 followers on this page, right? But the thing is, whenever you get a new friend request or somebody adds you on Facebook, you can now invite that person to like your page as well. So again, you're building awareness while not being intrusive of other people's time or privacy. As you can see, Yeter Parker and uh, Alkiba Rex, I'm gonna send both of them an invite right now, live during this video. They could potentially accept it, and that's two new followers right there. And even if they don't, oh well, they're still familiar with my name and they're familiar with my page. This is how you establish growth without it being toxic as far as you forcing people to watch you and making them feel like a number versus creating a community where you can now be found. Going back to my homepage again, we got spotlight videos. Look at that. That person in that, in that short amount of time that invite I just sent out, they accepted it right here. Accepted your invite to like LS Vision. So in live in this video, I just showed you exactly how to get a new follower while not even intruding on people's time. It's just that simple. I created the page. I made it aware where it was. Some people have engaged with it and the people that haven't engaged with it, I can send them an invite and if they like it, they do. And if they don't, they don't, I'll catch them the next time. But now you see just how easily this works and it's based on just having a centralized hub where you can be found. If that person who just followed me came to my page right now, they can literally find 320 videos and eight playlists to see what I'm doing. And if they wanted to go over to my YouTube, they could click this link right here and go straight to my YouTube page. And at the same time, we go to my about section and you see right here, here's my YouTube page, here's my Instagram. There's a link in here for them to tip me if they wanted to send me some tips. So I mean, these are ways that I'm engaging and building a community where I can get some of the benefits of that community without being, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, oppressive of their time or of their space. It's literally you creating an opportunity as far as saying this is where I'm found and if you wanna check me out, here I am. It's that simple. Let's go on over to YouTube so I can show you guys one last tip. Okay, now last but not least, we have YouTube. And what a lot of people don't realize about YouTube is YouTube is actually social media. Technically, it's social media. It's no different than your Facebook, your Instagram, your Twitch, or your Twitter. Anything else that you use, it's the same thing. It's just in video format. So the first thing that I want you to make sure that you have is come over to your uh, channel art banner right where my mouse is. Have a click the subscribe button, but also have a Facebook button, have a Twitter button, have an Instagram button, have a social media. You can make this any website that you use, but whatever that you wanna brand, whether it's your Shopify, uh, your Patreon or something like that, make sure you have it there and make sure that it's set up for you to click and go directly to it. So if I was to click this Facebook button, it would take you right back to the LS Vision Gaming page we just left from. So that's the first thing. Now, when it comes to talking about why is this truly social media, well, it's engagement. So let's go take a look at the video here. I want to pull up my uh, combat, pack uh, combat Pack 2 trailer video, right? And the reason I'm showing you this is because you can't use the invite tool that you have in Facebook, right? But what you can do is try to optimize your video to the best ability possible. So the first thing that you would need is the TubeBuddy extension tool for YouTube. I'll put that in the description so you guys know where to find it. I pay like five to seven dollars for it a month, 
but the point of it is so that you can optimize your video to have the best chance to succeed. Now, what do I mean by optimizing your video? Take a look right here, right? So if you look to the right of the screen where my mouse is, we have my tags. And with my tags, we have rankings for each of the tags that I have available. So what you wanna do is try to make tags that fit your title. So we have Combat Pack 2 Trailer, Lou Reaction. So if you look at my tags, I got Combat Pack Rambo, Combat Pack 2 DLC, Combat Pack DLC, MK11 Combat Pack 2 Leaks. All I'm doing is flipping and rearranging the words so I can rank. That way, if somebody searches this video topic, which is a very hot topic at the time, I will rank for it. You take a look up here, I have 13 tags that rank. Now, when it comes to getting a nice SEO score, you wanna get something that matches your description as well, but when you're a smaller content creator, you simply don't have the subscriber base to drive the views, which I don't myself, and I'm closing in on 2,000 subs, right? So, with all these single tags that we have here, you go down, I type all those same tags right here in the caption. I put it right at the bottom so it doesn't look clunky. I hashtag it with Combat Pack 2, Mortal Kombat 11, because that's the topic of the video. And I got some of my socials right here. And this video did good. And when I say it's engagement, it's because if you look at it, we have 69 likes and three dislikes. So that in itself helps me out because with that engagement, I have a chance to get into those higher YouTube algorithms. And with me getting into those algorithms, I have a chance to hit a higher viral spot because people might see me on the front page. You go down and take a look at your comment section. As you see, we got a lot of comments down here. Don't take these things for granted. Treat it just like Instagram or Facebook when it comes to replying or just like Twitter. You look at these comments as you see, I like them, I engage back with them, I might heart some of the ones that's cooler, and I respond to every single person. This is why I say it is social media, because you're a content creator, you're trying to grow, and as I said, people want to feel a part of a community. But they can't feel a part of a community if you don't talk to them. So if you look at every single one of these comments, you see me scrolling, you see all those comments, as you can see, reply from LS Vision, reply from LS Vision, reply from LS Vision. Our Purple Prince Ninja is back. Matter of fact, let's reply to this guy right now, because I didn't see him in the past. You definitely right he is. I can't wait to use them. So as you see, I reply to every single one of these comments and I show some love. And if they feel like that they're responded to, which they are, because I am being authentic in my responses. It is things that I do care about when I share my videos. This gives people a chance to engage with me and feel in tune with what I'm doing. So now we have a community because we're coming together. I'm providing content. I'm providing value. They're finding value in it. So they're engaging with me. I'm engaging back so I don't like some arrogant asshole. And that is how you build up your community. Let's go to a video that did even bigger than this one right here because this did 1230. But here's my highest video, right? 15,000 views for the Shang Sun trailer, right? 15,000 views, right? And with the Shang Tsung trailer, I have 608 likes, nine dislikes. Great ratio, so of course that video is gonna keep taking off. You see over time, the rank tags die down. This is only down to six rank tags, but it's already done what it's needed to do, and that's why the video did pretty well. Now, with this video, I'm sure I gained about a good couple hundred subscribers off of it, but that's the way that the cookie crumbles. Let me show you the downside of YouTube, and this is why you gotta try to optimize all your videos as much as possible, because every video won't take off like this. Let's go take a look at my homepage, right? So my most recent upload was a Shao Kahn video, 144 views, but let's go take a look at the ratio of likes. We got 20 likes and zero dislikes. This is why engaging is important because at the very least, even if a video doesn't take off, it still shows a good ratio, so it gives an idea of how people feel about my content. It's just based on me to keep putting out videos, keep being consistent, and keep trying to increase my outreach without spamming people. Let's go back to another video. As you can see, we got uh, the Rambo trailer over here. Let's go look at the Rambo trailer. Only 348 views, but look at the likes and dislikes. 38 likes to one dislike, so it means it's doing well. Um, if we tried to hit the rank tags, obviously this video didn't take off at 348 views, so I probably didn't do the greatest job in tags that I could, and even with the SEO score being 100, that's still pretty decent, but when you look at the ratio of likes to dislikes, that's what I go off of. So this is how you build your community, this is how you build your brand, obviously YouTube doesn't have as many advantages as Facebook gaming pages, however, it still shows a representation of how people feel about my content. So now at this point, you should understand how to build your content. You should understand how to put it out there, how to tag it, how to title it, and just give yourself the best chance to grow. Let's do a quick review. Okay, so we're just about done. Let's go ahead and wrap this thing up after we have a really small review. Step number one, 
find your niche. What is your channel gonna be about? If you're doing a fighting game channel similar to mine, then are you gonna be the best fighter out there? If so, you need to have high quality matches to support that. If you're gonna be doing a tutorial or a combo channel, then you need to have a ton of combos and tutorials to explain to people how to play the game so they can learn something from you. That would be step number one, finding your niche. Step number two, what is your identity gonna be? Are you gonna be PG-13 or for the children? Are you gonna be more for a mature audience and use certain language that you wouldn't use with children? Which would in turn, probably potentially limit your marketers in the future or your advertisements. However, do you wanna take a more professional approach? That way you can be accessible to everybody in the future when it comes to advertising. So find your identity, define what that's gonna be and make that obvious to the viewer. Step number three, let's break all bad habits. That means on Facebook, no tagging people, no spamming people, allow people a chance to find you, make sure that you build a hub for yourself to be located. As you've seen in this video, I literally gained a follower during the actual video simply because they knew where to find me i invited them they saw some content they liked and decided to hit that follow button if you're on twitter don't be adding people do not spam people simply break all bad habits let this thing grow organically otherwise what did you watch this video for and step number four last but not least optimize your social media when it comes to youtube make sure you're putting up tags get that tool buddy make sure that it matches your title try to optimize that as much as possible it's about five to seven dollars a month it's not a big hassle if you're on instagram make sure that you have hashtags that are supporting whatever the topic is that you want to put up make sure that the thumbnails and the videos and the pictures are pretty and um, pretty interesting at the very least and people want to engage and if it's on facebook then make sure you got that centrally located hub and you hit that invite button after they engage with your awesome content. So make sure that you're using those things. With that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and end this thing. I never love for videos to be this long, but at the same time, I like to be very detailed and precise in my information. I want you guys to feel like you learn something whenever you visit one of my videos. So until the next time, it is your boy Louie. I am out. I hope that this video turns out to be helpful for you. And if you did enjoy it, please hit the like button for me and of course hit subscribe. Until the next time, I'm out. Salute. He's struggling with that. Let's press some buttons. Damn, right when I went for it.